In this topic, I will discuss about systems of linear equations. Systems of linear equations. A system of linear equation is a set of two or more equations of the same variables in each equation. It can have no solution, one solution, or infinite solutions. It depends on the graph. Examples. Consider the three types of linear equations. Which among these three examples has one solution, no solution, or infinite solution? Let's solve number one. X minus Y is equal to 4. And the second equation, X plus Y is equal to 2. Step one. In order to determine the solution of the system of linear equations, we need to graph each equation. Before we graph, we need to solve the equation, the equation 1 and equation 2. Step 1. Use any method, slope and intercept for two points or the intercepts method in graphing each equation of the system. In this case, we will use the x and y intercepts to graph the line. x minus y is equal to 4. x intercept and to get the x intercept, we let y is equal to 0. x minus y is equal to 4. That's the given. Then replace the value of y. So x minus 0 is equal to 4. Then, simplify that. X is equal to 4. To get the value, oh, by the way, the points is 4, 0. To get the value of the y-intercept, we let the value of X is equal to 0. The given X minus Y is equal to 4. Substit substitute the value of X. 0 minus Y is equal to 4. Negative y is equal to 4. We multiply both sides by negative 1. So that our y will turn to positive. Negative 1 times negative y and that is y. 4 times negative 1 and that is negative 4. So our y is equal to negative 4. The point is 0, negative 4. Next is we use the second equation that is x plus y is equal to 2. To get the value of the x-intercept, let y is equal to 0. x plus y is equal to 2. Substitute the value of y, which is 0. x plus 0 is equal to 2. Then, simplify x is equal to 2. The point is 2, 0. To get the value of the y-intercept, let x is equal to 0. The given x plus y is equal to 2. Substitute the value of x, which is 0. Therefore, 0 plus y is equal to 2. Then, y is equal to 2. The point is 0, 2. Next step is step two you need to plot the intercepts so that we will determine if it has no solution solution this is the cartesian plane we need to graph the x minus y is equal to four and the points are four zero zero negative four then you draw a line that's the line for the equation x minus y is equal to 4. For the equation x plus y is equal to 2, the points are 2, 0, 0, 2. Then, you draw a line. And that's the, and that intersection or that line, that is the line for x plus y is equal to 2. The intersection of the two equations or the intersection of the line is called point of intersection. 
the lines intersect at a common point. Remember this one. The system of equation has one solution. If the two lines intersect. And it is also called independent or consistent. The point of intersection satisfies both equations. For the example number two, the given equation, first the equation what? 2x plus 4y is equal to 2. I mean 8. x plus 2y is equal to 2. In order to determine the solution of the system of linear equations, we need to graph each equation. But first, we need to solve the equation of the system to get the graph. Use any method. You can use slope and intercept form, two points and intercepts method. In this case, we will use the x and y intercepts to graph the line. First, we need to solve the equation 1, which is 2x plus 4y is equal to 8. We need to let y is equal to 0 to get the value of our x intercept. That what? Substitute the value of y to the equation 1. 2x plus 4 times 0 is equal to 8. Then simplify. 2x is equal to 8 because 4 times 0 is 0. 2x is equal to 8. So we divide both sides by 2 so that x will remain. That is 8 divided by 2, that is 4. Therefore, our x is equal to 4. To get, and the point, by the way, is 4, 0. To get the value of our y-intercept, we let what? x is equal to 0. Substitute the value of x to the equation 1. 2 times 0 plus 4y is equal to 8. Then simplify. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. So the remaining is 4y is equal to 8. Then we need to divide all sides by 4. What? 4 divided by 4 and that is 1. So cancel out. Therefore, our y is equal to 2 because 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. The point is 0, 2. The next, we use the second equation. We need to get the x and the y intercept. To get the x intercept, let y is equal to 0. Substitute the value of y. So x plus 2 times 0 is equal to 2. 2 times 0 is 0. So cancel out. The remaining is x is equal to 2. The point is 2, 0. To get the y-intercept, let x is equal to 0. 0 plus 2y is equal to 2. So we need to substitute the value of x. That's why 0 here. And the remaining is 2y is equal to 2. So we need to divide both sides by 2 so that y will remain. So 2 divided by 2. And that is y is equal to 1. The point is 1, 0. Then we need to plot the intercepts. That's the Cartesian thing. The equation 1, 2x plus 4y is equal to 8. We need to plot the points of the, our equation 1. 4, 0, 0, 2. Then you draw a line. Then plot. That's the line for our equation 1, which is 2x plus, 4, 8. 2x plus 4y is equal to 8. Then we need to plot the points for our equation 2, which is x plus 2y is equal to 2. 2, 0, 0, 1. Then you draw a line. 
And that's the line of our equation 2, which is x plus 2y is equal to 2. As you can see the line, the lines are parallel. There's no common point or no intersection point. Therefore, the system of equation has no solution. It is called inconsistent. Again, if there's no intersection point, then the system of equations has no solution or it is called inconsistent. Please take note for that. For our, for our example number 3, x minus y is equal to 3. 3x minus 3y is equal to 9. Those are the given equations. Step 1. Take note, in order to determine the solution of the system of linear equations, we need to graph each equation. Use any method. It's either slope and intercept form, two points and intercepts method. In this case, we will use the x and y intercepts to graph the line. Equation 1, x minus y is equal to 3. To get the x intercept, we let y is equal to 0. x minus y is equal to 3, which is the given equation 1. Substitute the value of y, which is 0. x minus 0 is equal to 3. The then simplify. x is equal to 3. That's the value of our x intercept. The point is 3, 0. Then we need to get the y intercept also. To get that, let x is equal to 0. Substitute the value of x, which is 0. That's why 0 minus y is equal to 3. Negative y is equal to 3. We need to multiply negative 1 on both sides so that y will turn to positive because negative 1 times negative 1 will turn to positive y. Therefore, y is equal to negative 3 because 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. The point is 0, negative 3. Then, that's the time we need also to solve the equation 1. Equation 2, I mean. 3x minus 3y is equal to 9. To get the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0. Substitute the value of y, which is 0. 3x minus 3 times 0 is equal to 9. We know that 3 times 0 is equal to 0. So, 3x minus 0. So, we need to cancel out 3 times 0 because the result is 0. The remaining is 3x is equal to 9. We need to divide both sides by 3 so that x will remain because 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So, our x is equal to 3 because 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. The point is 3, 0. To get the y-intercept, we let x is equal to 0. Then substitute the value of x, which is 0. 3 times 0 minus 3y is equal to 9. 3 times 0 is equal to 0. The remaining is negative 3y is equal to 9. Then we need to divide all sides by negative 3. So, 3, negative 3 divided by negative 3 is equal to y. 9 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 3. Therefore, the point is negative 3, 0. Then we need to plot all the points from our equation 1 and equation 2. Step 2. Plot the intercepts. First, you need to draw a Cartesian plane. We need to plot our equation 1 which is x minus y is equal to 3. The points are 3, 0, 0, negative 3. Then you draw a line. That's the line of our equation 1. Then for our equation 2, which is 3x minus 3y is equal to 9. 
then plot the points. The points of our equation 2 is 3, 0, 0, negative 3. As you can see, they are having the same points, same location. Then you draw a line. As you can see, the lines are coincide. The lines coincide. There are infinite solutions. The system of equation is called dependent. Please take note for that. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment.